Okay, let's take a look at how to connect this to an SDI-12 sensor. I have here with me, this is a, um, uh, a Decagon brand, uh, 5TM. It is a soil temperature and, and moisture sensor. And the new brand is the Meters Group. So they, they, they still uh, manufacture and sell the same sensor, just under a different uh, uh, combined company name now. So this is this has been deployed for for a number of years and uh, and it has basically I'll call it indestructible. It's uh, it's very well made. And um, the only downside of this particular sensor is I didn't really purchase this sensor with the the wire leads. So it is coming with this uh, this stereo connection. So a, a kind of word of warning about stereo connection is. If you push the connector into a socket, there's a moment when all three connections are shorted together. This is not good because one of them is power, the other is um, is the SDI-12 um, data pin. So if you short that, yeah, it is likely that you, you can damage the adapter if you don't have that diode there. So uh, I don't really like it, but, uh, but this is what I do is I connect this to a little adapter board so I can bring out the wires and I color coded the wires, so the uh, the red is is the power, and the black is uh, ground, and this green here is SDI12. So let's hook this up to one of the ports. So let's go with this port here. So we flip to this side, maybe uh, turn it around, and um, nice symbol of S. It it doesn't matter which way you turn, and also the other symbols don't matter. So you can see there's a plus. S and a minus. Let's bring this close. Uh, so a plus S and minus. So that would be the uh, the red, green, and then the black. So um, before you uh, you you put these uh, wire wire leads into the uh, the terminal blocks, just make sure you don't trim the wire leads too long. This is roughly the length I recommend because you you push this in. This is roughly how far it can go. So if you if you cut this too long, then there will be a, a certain amount of uh, um, copper, the bare con uh, conductor that's left outside, and that is uh, just inviting this to short circuit with the uh, its neighbors. So that's not good. But if you cut too short, so let's just pretend this was too short, then you you may have a chance of clamping against the plastic instead of uh, the metal contact. So, um, so neither is, is good. Uh, you may want to start with long and just insert it and see how far you need to trim it off and just trim it off uh, to the right size. So let's go ahead and just do this. I have a uh, jeweler screwdriver just for that. Um, so I'll go one wire at a time. Just kind of clamp this down a little and make sure it is against the metal contact. Okay, so the next one here is a signal. Okay, that's a metal to metal contact. And here's ground. Because these uh, these uh, terminal blocks are slightly bigger now, uh, 0.15 inches apart in the uh, in the pitch, it's a little easier to, to hook them up but they're still relatively compact. Okay, so now we have this connected. And um, what I would normally do is, if I need to replace this uh, this sensor with another one, I would disconnect the power. Even if I, I know I have a diode here, it's a good practice to disconnect the power before I switch this. And even for the wire leads, I would want to disconnect the power before I pull out the wire leads, just in case they, they short circuit. So that's basically how to connect one uh, SDI-12 sensor. You have two more that basically follow the same pattern. And then over here, the other side, well, the um, um, this is basically always, if you look at these connectors, these terminal blocks, uh, at this uh, this axis holes, the left one is red or power. So if you look this way, the left one is power because you flip it over, this one says power. So you just follow the, um, the uh, all these markings on, on the underside, you won't uh, make any mistakes. So here we go. Um, now it's a bit hard to stay flat anymore with the wires. All right, thank you.